to the ground without being able to put your arms out to protect yourself. States exhibit number four. What's the jury looking at here in states four? Uh, the jury is looking at uh, the body tags <coughs> on the body bag that, the, uh, that Ahmad Arbery was transported in. States exhibit number five. What is the jury looking at here? Uh, States Exhibit Number Five is an overall picture of the uh, almost the entire body of Ahmad Arbery. As in, his clothing is on, and this is how the body came to the medical examiner's office. All right. So when we're looking at this, we have then States Exhibit <coughs> Six. What State, do we have here? States Exhibit Six is a. a picture of the head and upper uh, torso of Ahmad Arbery. And right here, what do we have? These are uh, tears in the shirt. All right, and then above here? The, those are bandanas. States Exhibit 7. <clears throat> States Exhibit 7 is the uh, lower portion of the chest and the uh, pelvic area and the, uh, the thighs of Ahmad Arbery. And when the state, when the jury's looking at here, what are they looking at as far as this belt? Well, there's a web belt, uh, there are uh, shorts, and then there are underwear shorts. And then States Exhibit 8. States Exhibit 8 is a photograph of the lower extremities, and uh, uh, there are uh, Nike running shoes on the feet. Now, what's this thing right here? Well, that's a towel or a, a sheet. And that came in with the body? Uh, yes. Frequently, the body will be transported wrapped in a sheet to facilitate the transport. So now when we're looking at States Exhibit number nine, what's the jury looking at here? States Exhibit number nine is a photograph of Ahmad Arbery uh, after the blood has been cleaned off of the body. And in the center of the chest, there is a shotgun wound. And in the uh, left chest and left armpit, there is a second shotgun wound. And then we see this dark discoloration here by the second gunshot wound that you've described. Do you know what that is? Well, I, I think that's abrasion due to clothing, and this occurs in the, in the area around the armpit when uh, clothing is put under stress or tension. So is that like a bruise or is it more, you said an it's abrasion? A, it's, a, it's an abrasion. It's a scraping away of the top layer of the skin. A, a scratch would be the late term for that. So when we look at states 10, when we're looking at states 10, what's the jury looking at there? Uh, this is a uh, photograph of the wound in the central portion of the chest. All right, so when the jury's looking at this, what is all of this around here and in here? Well, these are uh, abrasions, uh, scraping away of the top layer of the skin. And what would be the cause of those? Well, uh, something contacted the skin in that area that scraped away the top layer of the skin. Would it be consistent with pellets from a shotgun? Yes. Then, looking at states 11, what is the jury looking at here in states 11? We're looking at the left chest and left armpit, and we're seeing a very large uh, shotgun wound. And then States 12, what is the jury looking at here in States 12? States 12 is a grazing gunshot wound of the uh, right wrist. 
Now, is this particular wound lethal, meaning if he'd been shot just in the wrist, would he have died? Well, he could have died because it involved the uh, ulnar uh, artery and nerve. However, in, uh, in everyday practice, th what you would do is put a tourniquet on, on the upper extremity and you could stop the bleeding there. So, would this bleed profusely? It would bleed profusely because it's involved uh, uh, the ulnar artery and so uh, blood under pressure would spurt from this wound. Is that known as arterial spurt? Arterial spurt, yes. Taking a look then at the other side of his hand, 13, what's the jury looking at there? 13 is the back of the uh, right hand and uh, shows some abrasions on the forearm and uh, on the uh, fingers, uh, yes. All right, so when we're looking then at states 14, what do we have here? Uh, states 14 shows the fingers and shows abrasions on the posterior surface of the fingers. Do you have a medical opinion about how those particular abrasions occurred? Uh, yes, so from looking at the uh, frame by frame video, uh, it's apparent that those occurred uh, due to an unguarded fall when he was shot the third time. All right, so this is caused because he fell down? Yes. And when we look here, do you have an opinion about this abrasion or this particular wound? No, no opinion. Okay. So then looking at states 15, what do we have in this area? Uh, uh, again, an abrasion or a scrape. And uh, on this one, I don't really have an opinion about that one either. I mean, you don't know how he got it? I don't know how he got it. And then what is the jury looking at here with uh, we're, this particular area? We're looking at uh, some pellet exit wounds from the wound in the center of the chest. So the pellets pass through uh, the chest cavity and exited on the lateral surface of the chest. All right, so when you say lateral surface of the chest, are you talking about? The, the side of the chest. Right. Side of the chest. And there are, we can also see some pellets under the skin there at the top. Right here? Yes. So then directing your attention to States Exhibit 16. What are we looking at here? Uh, again, we're looking at the face and he has a number of abrasions. He's got abrasions above the right eyebrow. He has abrasions at the lateral margin of the right eye. He has an abrasion on the lower eyelid that extends to the face. He has a, an abrasion on the nose on the right side. And then just above the upper lip, he has a, an abrasion or a scraping away of the top layer of the skin. And once again, how are these uh, created? These are created, th these are typical of an unguarded fall where the person can't get their hands out to protect themselves. States Exhibit 17, what's the jury looking at here? Seven, States Exhibit 17 shows the gunshot wound of the left chest and armpit. Now, this particular gunshot wound um, on the left chest and armpit, was this a lethal shot, meaning if just being shot alone, would this have caused his death? Uh, this could have caused his death uh, because it involved the uh, axillary artery and axillary vein, which are large blood vessels uh, that uh, go to the upper extremity. If he'd only been shot here in the upper armpit, is there anything law enforcement or EMS could have done to save his life at the scene? I, I don't think so, no. States Exhibit 18, what are we looking at here? We're looking at abrasions on the back of the uh, left hand. And do you have an opinion about how those were caused? Those are likely caused, again, in the unguarded fall.
Now looking at States Exhibit 19, what do we have up here at the very top? Uh, the gun, uh, the shotgun wound in the center of the chest. Okay. And then what do we have here? That's a, a, a pellet exit wound. That's a pellet under the skin. Pellet exit. Pellet under the skin. Pellet under the skin. Pellet under the, or exit. Pellet exit. Pellet under the skin. Pellet under the, pellet exit and pellet under the skin. And once again, this is all concentrated where? On the uh, side of the chest, the right side of the chest. So then looking at 20, what is the jury looking at here on 20? Uh, the right side of the chest again. Uh, you can see the nipple in the picture that will help you orient yourself. And once again? Pellet under the skin, pellet exit. Now looking at States Exhibit 21, what is the jury looking at here? We're looking at the uh, uh, right upper back and the back of the right, sh uh, excuse me, the left upper back and the posterior left shoulder. And what is it that we have right here? We have, it looks like seven uh, pellet exit wounds. Uh, we also have an old scar uh, a vertical scar. And with regard to State's Exhibit 22, what's the jury looking at there? Uh, this is a close-up of the uh, seven pellet exits. States Exhibit 23, let me go ahead and back this out. Is this the same lateral area on his side, just if he's turned over? Yes, the body is now on its stomach and we're, we're looking at the, the right side of the chest. <clears throat> So then, I think you noted he had on some running shoes. States Exhibit 26, what are we looking at there? These are the, uh, the Nike running shoes that he had on. States Exhibit 25, what do we have here? Those are the soles of the running shoes. We also have State's Exhibit 27. What's the jury looking at there? 27 is uh, the shorts and belt that he was wearing. And which side of that is in State's 27? The front or the back? It looks like the front. And State's 28? Uh, State's 28. Uh, it looks like the back of the shorts. And then State's 29, what do we have here? Uh, it looks like uh, blood. States Exhibit 30, what's the jury looking at there? This is the uh, t-shirt that he had on, and it's the front portion, and it shows uh, at least three large defects. So states 31, what do we have here? This is uh, uh, one of the defects in the uh, shirt, the t-shirt. Does this correspond to the shot underneath the arm? Yes, it does. Right. And then states exhibit 32, what are we looking at here? We're looking at the uh, the defects uh, uh, with associated with the, uh, the the wound in the central chest. Okay. I may have one moment. Okay. 
So moving on to State's Exhibit 33, what's the jury looking at here in 33? This is the uh, posterior side of the T-shirt. Uh, up in the, the top are the uh, uh, pellet exits from the uh, left upper back and shoulder. And uh, there are some pellet exits visible on the right side. Over here? Mm -hmm. Yes. So looking at State's Exhibit 34, are these the right shoulder pellet exits? Left shoulder, yes. Left shoulder. And then State's Exhibit 35, what are we looking at over here? The, the right side pellet exits. 